everyone. Our, our daily inspiration today can be found uh, in Genesis 3, verse 1. And it reads, Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, which the Lord God has made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Amen. God had a blessing to his holy word. And if we just pray for a moment, Lord God, we thank you for just this moment to delve into your word, if only but for a moment uh, before we start our day or as we end our day. God, we just ask that you bless us on our way. Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you for uh, imparting this word to us right now. God, we just thank you and bless uh, your name, O oh God, that it might bless us as we go about our day. Amen. Um, I wouldn't want us to get caught up in just the logistics of seeing the serpent with Eve. Amen. But think of it on a, a broader level. That Satan comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Yes. Uh, but in the midst of that, um, leading to that, there has to be at least some twisting of information, some deception that has to occur to kind of get us away from God and away from the protection of God. Um, and so Satan comes at us in different ways and in different shapes and forms. Amen, somebody. Um, he tries to deceive us by twisting the very words that God has given us. Amen. That God has spoken to us, that God has spoken over our lives. He takes those little words and tries to twist them and turn them. And that in turn will become internalized in our own head that we start to begin to rethink, well, did God really say that? Am I just imagining that? Was that just something I thought? Or maybe he didn't say it that way. Maybe he meant it another way. Instead of taking God at full on at his word, we allow Satan to come in in, in whatever form it may be uh, to just kind of pull us away from what God has already told us or given us um, in no uncertain terms. But we start to rethink it. We start to then... Uh, turn it over in our head too much and we almost try to outthink God, amen, and try to outreason what God has given to us. So I want us to just be mindful of that, to just take God at his word, to follow what God has, uh, the thought or the, the, the unctioning or whatever God has given to you, to follow that. Don't allow things and people and places and, and bottom line, the subtlety of sin, amen, the twisting, the subtle twisting and tweaking of the word to try to pull us away from what God has for us. We pray that God draws us closer to him. Keep us in his will and in his word today, amen, so we will not fall prey to what Satan has for us. Amen, somebody, because don't think he, that just as God has a plan for you, don't, don't be sleeping on the fact that Satan will have a, a plan for you as well. Amen. Help us to hide ourselves in the word of God, to hide our hearts there so that we can refute and refuse the words that are contrary to what God is telling us. So all of those twists and turns that we, we, we don't mull it over in our mind until we've almost flipped it away from what God has originally told us. So I admonish you on that today to stay close in God's word, stay close to what he's given you because there is a subtlety in the, the sin um, of turning God's word. There's a subtlety when Satan comes. He's subtle about things. He just slightly, just like he slightly asked Eve, did he really say that? Did he, did he say you shall not eat of every tree? You know, just phrasing it like that. You know how some people can just come up to you. Did, did you? Did he really say that or did he really mean for you to do this, this and this, you know, just twisting it. So be careful of the subtlety of sin, the subtlety of Satan as he comes for you because he knows you to be God's child. So stick close and stay with God. Amen, somebody. I pray for you and pray for me as we begin this day. Or if I'm catching you at the end that as you end this day, well, and just allow that thought to be with you this week. And together we say amen and thank you, Lord, for this word for this day. 
Amen. 